if you think from a demand point of view, the consumer is ready to pay higher price for a better service and uh, be ready to change last minute what they want to do. So they are asking us for more flexibility, more quality, and uh, more availability of different things that they didn't ask for before. How easy is that for a large group like you to provide? Bearing in mind, essentially, the model has changed. Imagine an event. In 2019, you would have a Congress, you would get a reservation six months in advance, you would know how many would come, what would be the food, and when they would start and then when they finish. Today, you get that book in six months in advance, but they tell you, we are maybe going to come between 800 and 1500, we don't know. We may know the last month. Regarding food, we may need options. Then regarding technology, we need to have connectivity in such a way that if people connect from the abroad, they will have it. And you will not know. So with the six months you had before, that, that demands more complexity, more planning, uh, more flexibility in the workforce. Does it require a mindset change for the industry? Completely. It is, uh, it is uh, I, I think in 19, part of the industry were, was a bit spoiled. Like, you know, this is what I sell and people buy. Today, I think people is, is becoming much more choiceful. And, and I have the right, you know, I have not traveled for two years, have not had my meeting and events. Now, you know what, now I'm making, I'm taking my trip, I will choose what I want to do. So I think that's very important, but I think it's good. I think that will make us better. If you're not able to adapt, you die. China is still not a player again. No. How damaging is that? No, no, it's not in Have our... Have you written it off China for the foreseeable future? No, 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 no. I think, I think if, if, we, if we look to our business in China, I think <clears throat> it's not doing well because the country is not, is not yet open. But uh, it is easily compensated, for example, by how well India is doing. So if you look, we have 100 hotels in India. India is booming. It's really, really booming. So I think that more than compensates what's happening in China. Now, I think at the same time, the fact that China is not back into travel needs to make us think how the future may come. Think that during this summer, for example, largest destinations were full and at a very high price. Think of London, Venice, Rome, Madrid, Barcelona. There was no Chinese across Europe. So when the Chinese come back, then you got a problem. Then we'll have more opportunities. <laughs> Finally, I, I do wonder if you look at Saudi Arabia. Yes. We've never seen anything like it. Never. I think I think this is this is unique, extremely unique. Uh, is there is a country with a vision? Behind the vision, there is talent, and behind the talent, there is money. Because it's not one single destination. It's not that you are talking about a new resort or a new area. No, you're talking about seven to ten different destinations and a determined community to make it happen. But can Saudi change the rules by which everybody uh, is, or, or at least say, the rules by which the rest of you play do not apply here because of X, Y, Z? I, I think, I think uh, Saudi will have to take the decisions of which are the rules that are relevant for the tourists to come. I, I have my point of view. I think they may have the other ones, but I think at the end, you know, consumers, consumers like to be welcome. I think people is extremely respectful of habits whenever they don't think those habits exclude them. The moment you feel excluded, a destination will not, ha will not ever be successful. And they're going to have to make changes, things like, for example, alcohol. Yes, I, I, think, I think they will have to measure and they will have to take a decision. Where do I, I mean, life is about where do you want to play and how do you want to win? You, you may need to listen to the consumer. Right, but the Saudi's understand. view tends to be, to answer your question, how do you want to play and how do you want to win? Their view is often, we will define that. Nobody has ever done it before because when, when, you, when you think you can define the rules of the game, you may end playing alone.